I'm begging you to leave me alone. Can you get up out the car? Wow. So you gonna make a video? Get up out the car. Beg me to leave you alone. Hey, can you please get out the car? I'm begging you to get up out the car right now. Please. So you can leave me alone. Can you please get out of the car? Hey, can you please get out the car? I'm begging you to leave me alone, baby. She don't want to get out the car. I hate flow. Now, for the record, I could not post the video of the fight between Lottie Lucy and this other, well, the alleged fight, excuse me. You know, I couldn't post it here on YouTube, but I did post it on my blog. I, I, I don't post stuff like that on YouTube, so don't even ask me for it. But it is on my blog. But here's my commentary about it, as well as some other information that's floating around social media. Now, from what I gathered, allegedly, Lottie Lucy is allegedly the person that's on the sex tape with Jessica Dime, excuse me, the alleged sex tape that's floating around Twitter and other places of Jessica Dime being smashed from the back. And it came out mm, recent, not that, mm, I think it was December 2016. So they're saying that he's in it. Some people were saying that he released it, that he was the one that put it out there. I cannot confirm nor deny that. But there is a sex tape, allegedly, with Jessica Dime in it, and Lottie Lucy is allegedly the person smashing her from the back but anyways uh, moving along so he also posted which I, I did a separate video about it he posted some UAE United Arab Emirates money and what he said was you know that Jessica Dine was over there in Dubai being shitted and pissed on and she had sex with six men and all she got was $15,000 for it he threatened to put out a video of her performing oral sex. He didn't say whether or not it was on her or somebody else, but man, there's just a, a just a bunch of just drama going on, unnecessary drama. And some people were saying that the reason why it's all going down is because of that alleged sex tape uh, from 2016. But anyways, they went back and forth hard on social media, posting some long ass messages. So I'm going to read all this crap to you guys. I'm talking about, you know how mofos are, all them damn hashtags and stuff. So you're going to hear me say hashtag a bunch of times. So if you don't like hearing me say it, just turn the video off now. Goodbye, good riddance. Anyways, Jessica Dye said, 2017 starting off with a bang. Bitch ass ninjas get treated like bitches. Hashtag damn. This the second time he got popped on tape, hashtag, he ain't even try to fight back, hashtag, real ho, hashtag, disrespecting bitches, hashtag, he the real bitch, hashtag, who was he about to call though, hashtag, buying pussy, boy, you too lame, hashtag, Lottie the scammer, hashtag, Lottie the bitch boy, hashtag, dirt dauber, what in the world, anyway, hashtag, happy new year, little bitch. Hashtag move out of Memphis. Hashtag you not safe here. Hashtag sucker. Hashtag take that fake mink ball off. I don't know what a mink ball is. Hashtag uh, produce a track about this. Hashtag they should have pulled his pants down and whooped him with a belt. Hashtag bet he won't leak this to the blogs. Hashtag Jimuary. Uh, oh, Jimuary. <laughs> At Jeezy. See what happens to suckers when they fuck with real ones. Ha 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 ha. Jeezy laugh. Oh, ha ha. That's how Jeezy laughs, right? Anyway, hashtag Nadu Sum Stolongo dot com. What? And I, oh God, I wish I wish hood people would just speak English. I'm sorry. No offense. But anyways, here's what Lottie Lucy had to say about Jessica. He said. At I am dying piece, bitch. While you want to promote ninjas who ran up on me three deep with a 50 round and still got they do boy ass kicked after he swung, and I ain't have no security or no strap with me, I was solo like a real killer. Make sure you know the truth. Besides all that, why you keep worrying about me if you're so happy like you claim, bitch? I don't want to toss you with the gang no more. And tell your broke ass assistant Nikki start keeping some money. She too grown to not have a dollar to buy a slushy. I fucked you and your friend at the same time. You been a slut to me. While all these other ninjas praise you bitch. I beg you to get the fuck away from me. Laughing out loud. And don't make me upload the video uh, putting you out the car. Hashtag no edges. Hashtag stupid broke. Hashtag you couldn't buy a flight. 
Hashtag tried to steal my watch and got exposed. Hashtag you ain't got no furniture in your house. Hashtag BD had you crying at Preve. Hashtag should I keep going? And finally, prepare for it. This is what Jessica said back to him. She said, sissy ass N-word, upload it. Gangsta ass N-word, get off the computer and go try to get your face back. Little boy, trick ass N-word. Come on, Jessica, use commas. This is hard to read. Lying on your dick. Lying on your dick, boy. You too lame and I'ma just like this. That happened because of some new busta shit you did, boy. And a real ninja was around and stood up, little bitch. Now you stand up, sucker. Take your lick and sit down, dusty ass, shit eating ass, little boy. Laughing, crying emojis. You looking for fame and you hurt because I got a ninja, but you was never my ninja. Man, you live in your grandma house, sleeping on the couch with no car, but you worry about what I got, stinky feet ass bitch. You could never be my ninja. You got finessed and got mad when you couldn't get a dollar out of me. Tell these folks the truth. This shit was four years ago. And you tried to hop out the car and run off and steal my purse with $10,000 in it. Wait, if he didn't have a car, then why, whose car was he kicking her out of? Anyways, this shit was four years ago and you tried to hop out the car and run off and steal my purse with $10,000 in it from me because I wouldn't give you the money to pay for that exact rental. Oh, okay, so I guess it was supposed to be a rental car. You only showed the part where you asking me to get out, but not the part where you standing there with my purse and I'm calmly asking you to give me my shit. That's why I wouldn't go out, broke bitch. Man, tell your God in them how you using his name faking like you him to scam people out of money online shaking my head man you pitiful you ain't never ran no train on me with nobody lying ass ninja and no friend of mine would have you hurt ass but right playing wrong bitch this is so hard to read you really want to be me and live this life i live you ain't got no stingray i do you ain't have one since your millionaire slapped you on the hood of that bitch Hashtag should I go on? Hashtag you got me fucked up. Hashtag I'll slap you too. Hashtag loading the scammer. Hashtag tell the truth sucker. Hashtag you will never come back from that one. Hashtag your career over. Hashtag you should have fought back. Hashtag I would have. Hashtag but I'm a real gangster for real. Hashtag you a hoe. Hashtag you need to take karate. Hashtag little Lodi challenge. Well, there you go. A lot of hashtags. There's some ignorance up in there. Some hood shit. Just a bunch of just stuff that I guess hood people like. I mean, you know, you got people being. I mean, we have sex tapes. We have uh, violence. We have people being made fun of because they allegedly got beat up and then they allegedly didn't get beat up. I mean, I don't understand what's funny about somebody getting beat up. I don't get it personally. But just a, just a lot of, I guess, hood shit. Honestly, to tell you the truth, only a coon could be entertained by this. I, I don't I don't really, like, I really can't co-sign any of this bullshit. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm very attracted to Jessica. <laughs> you know, hell yeah, I would smash. But all of this shit that they're saying to each other, I, I this is, I, I can't co-sign this. And the fact that they're going to such extreme measures to destroy each other, I have to actually speak out against it. Because I understand that they have some sort of a history with each other. We're talking about people leaking sex tapes, people leaking, leaking fight videos. Like, why do you even have tapes of any of that stuff? Why do either one of them have stuff? Did they have stuff like this because they were preparing, preparing to put these things out at a later date to ridicule each other? I mean, he's calling her a hoe. She's calling him a sucker and talking about he needs to take karate. and She's a real gangster. The most gangster thing you could do is not tell people you're a gangster, though. Like, if you're a gangster, nobody should know. But that's just me saying. But then again, I'm not a gangster. Or am I? No, seriously, all jokes aside. Like, nobody should ever say that they're a gangster if you're a gangster. Because there's nothing gangster about snitching on yourself. Then again, there's nothing gangster about uh, putting out a sex tape of your ex. None of this shit is gangster. Well, <laughs> I mean, black, black style gangster, I guess. You know, you don't usually <laughs> you ever notice that black folks that claim to be gangster do a lot of like retarded shit. Whereas like when you're a gangster from like a different 
ethnicity, a different race, they know how to be quiet and not be on social media putting stuff like this out there. Usually, I'm not saying it never happens. I'm just saying usually when I see some dumb shit, it's usually like a black street person. It's like when other groups of people, when they resort to the street life, it's out of greed. And then like black folks resort to the street life out of like retardation. Like this is all I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is stupid. Fucking pathetic. Um, and I'm not saying that Jessica's like that or Lottie's like that. I'm just saying as an example. And it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. None of it makes any sense. Like Bobby Schmurter talking about some Mitch caught a body about a week ago. That stupid ass song, Hot Ninja, was part of what took them down. I mean, they were being investigated for not mistaken before that, but shit. You know, you got motherfuckers just snitching on themselves. But that's what black gangsters do. That's why I don't respect black gangsters at all. Black gangsters, first of all, I don't respect any gangster. But black people who were gangster, which I, I don't believe Jessica Dime is a real gangster. I think she was just saying that. I think she was just trying to sound tough to try to, you know, puff her big ass titty chest out. Just puff them big titties out like, huh, ninja. Like, I feel like she was peacocking, basically, to uh, let him know that she's not, you know, fearful of anything that he could bring her way. I don't think she's really a gangster. But anyways, at the end of the day, black gangsters do a lot of stupid shit. And, and it's like, it's not even funny at this point. Because it's like 2017, you would think that black folks would never say that they're gangster again. I mean, why try to imitate Italians or whatever you're trying to imitate? All of this bravado and, and so-called swag, all this sissy shit. I, I just can't co-sign any of it. But then again, I'm not a skinny jeans wearer. You know, I never had a mohawk, a fucking blonde mohawk at that. You know, I'm not the type of dude. So I don't really understand this, uh, this degenerative pseudo culture. You know, I'm the type of dude. If I have something that basically like a video or picture, something like that of some woman where, you, where you're naked or you're playing with yourself or I'm fucking you or something like that. You couldn't pay me. Literally, if somebody came to me, and said, look. We'll give you $10 billion for that girl, that girl's pictures, let's just say, not even a sex tape. Let's just say some pictures. Uh, let's just say a titty picture and a picture of her bending over in a thong. You give us those two pictures, we'll give you $10 billion and we'll say that your shit was stolen from you. You don't even have to worry about it. You don't even have to say anything. We'll make it look like the shit was stolen. I wouldn't even do it for $10 billion with nothing, none of it coming back to me. Real talk, crit walk. I mean that 100%. Like, I don't care how much money's involved. I don't care about the, the backlash, the responsibility of dealing with it. I would want nothing at all in this world to do with something like that. You know, people talk about death before dishonor, but don't say that you believe in that particular code when you dishonor some woman by putting out her sex tape. That's lame as fuck. But anyways, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying, I'm not accusing him of putting out the tape. I'm just saying on social media, they're saying that he did that. I don't know whether or not that's true, but that's some bullshit I can't co-sign. I'm not going to be putting out anything like that of a woman. On the flip side, if somebody was beat up or attacked at all, violence is not funny. It's not cute. It's not cool. What type of person posts fight videos and then says, ha ha, you got beat up. You should have went and learned karate. That's disgusting too. I mean, for real. Like all of this shit. Like I, I, I literally, I can't co-sign anything that they said or did. All of this is straight up bullshit. But anyways, I wish them the best. I hope that they apologize to each other. That's the most they can do with this part. They already done try to fuck up each other's day. Probably try to. I, I would go as far as saying it seems like they're trying to fuck up each other's lives. I mean, this is really heavy. The type of shit they're talking. We're talking about violence and sex and stuff. This is too much for me personally. But anyways, all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just an asshole with a microphone. I'm not some street guy, so maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I'm just pussy. That's what it, I'm just a big old pussy cat. Mm -hmm, that's what it is. But anyways, let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine 
www.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter, Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, and Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Oh, yeah, and before I go, I just wanted to let the gangsters out there who are listening. Now, I know there's a lot of gangsters out there and everything, but, you know, I'm an unarmed midget in a wheelchair, so, you know, don't mess with me because I know you guys got all that heavy artillery and everything, you know, and I'm up here uh, basically a sitting duck. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, please don't any of you big bad gangsters come for me because, you know, you know, I'm just like not prepared for war or anything like that. So I'm not trying to get my ass whooped. <laughs> me magazine, <laughs> Mr. Coward.